looking for a great date night movie that is fun, lighthearted, but filled with some romantic moments that aren't too heavy, I got you covered with 10 great date night films. Ten films, ten nights. All right, let's get started. But be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Okay, first off, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. I mean, what a name, but still, it's a great film. It's a wonderful, wonderful film set in the aftermath of World War II, in which a woman travels to Guernsey Island to write a book about wartime experiences on the island, only to make some unexpected friendships. This period piece is filled with charm and emotion, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris is delightful, and oh my god, the fashion is amazing. The film features a sweet, lovely widow who is looking for something more in life after her husband passes. Enter the quest for the perfect dress. It's really a film for people of any age, but if you're a bit older, I think you might actually find this film to be especially touching and meaningful. I know I did. And again, the fashion, the dresses are to die for. It's just a really beautiful film to watch and really touching. The half of it turns the standard romantic formula upside down a bit. This endearing high school romantic comedy is delightful in so many ways. Crushes and love letters, they lead to some poignant yet wonderful moments in this romantic coming of age. Whether you're young or old, I think you're really going to love it. The Lovebirds is a fantastic film that is great for some lighthearted yet lively romantic moments while these two lovebirds try to survive a murder mystery that kind of drops in their laps. Some people really do have bigger problems on their hands than wondering if their relationship can last. Warm Bodies is one of my favorite favorite, favorite romantic comedies. Look, it's me. I love zombie films. And this one is funny. It's smart. It's utterly unexpected. I think it might even be one of my favorite first date films because it doesn't take itself too seriously, even as it kind of tugs at your heartstrings. Crazy Rich Asians is such a fun film. I highly recommend it. It's romantic. It's timely. It highlights some of the trials and tribulations of a newly engaged couple as they enter that next stage in their relationship. Families, they really can be one of the biggest obstacles to love and happiness. And that's what this film really explores. And they do it so well. The Incredible Jessica James is a classic romantic comedy that digs into those painful and awkward moments that always come up when you're on the rebound. It's poignant, it's funny, but it's honest, and it's a great date night film. I think you're really going to like it. Always Be My Maybe is a funny and sweet film about childhood friends who fall out of touch after an awkward experience, but then reconnect later only to find that maybe something is still between them. You never know what or who you're going to run into when you go back home, but I think there's a part of us that I'll secretly want to find out, and that's kind of what this film explores, and I think you'll really enjoy this one as well. Wedding Season is fun, fun, fun. It's a fun summer film. We all inevitably have a summer full of wedding after wedding after wedding. And this film gives us some hysterical insights into life as a single person during the worst season of the year. And when you pretend to be dating just to avoid those awkward onesie tables, you may find that romance and friendship work in mysterious ways. 
Mr. Malcolm's List is a terrific period piece that plays with romance and love and society. Sometimes people are always who they seem and their motives aren't always what you imagine. But given the chance, I think you'll fall in love with this film. I know I did, and I think you'll really enjoy it too. So there you go. That's my list of top 10 date night films from the last few years. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you watched. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel below. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.